Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, guys, you can see up on the big screen right now, we're going to be talking about zero-turn lawnmowers. Try to do a little bit of a an in-depth, comprehensive review for all the different zero-turn mowers that you guys are looking to purchase this upcoming season. I really hope that you guys get a lot of value out of this video if you're looking to make some of these purchases and upgrades for your business here as we go into the 2020 spring season. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys. So, hey, if you're new to the channel, I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful business so you guys can go out there and crush it. And today we're going to be talking about zero turn lawnmower. So I'm super excited about that. One of the most requested topics I get is, hey, what about X Mark? What about Skag? What about Hustler? What about Bad Boy? So on and so forth, right? And you guys want to know just all the ins and outs about each single mower. Well, over the last two or three years on my YouTube channel, I've been trying to go down that rabbit hole to talk about each mower. So we're going to do it today just in a big umbrella fashion and just kind of give you some pros and cons of each unit. Um, I'm not the authority on any of this stuff. Um, some of them we've logged, you know, thousands of hours on uh, those units and those brands. Other of them we've logged uh, hundreds of hours. And then some in between, we've just had demos for two, three, four weeks, uh, maybe able to run 20 to 100 hours on said mowers. And so everything being said, I wanted to just talk to you about some of the big brands that you guys are looking at. And we'll go down this rabbit hole. By the way, by the time we're done with this, let me know if you guys want to see a part two, and that is with stand-on mowers, right? So let's talk about stand-on mowers because that seems to be a little bit more popular. Hey, well, I got you guys. Really quick, if you guys uh, are new to the channel or if you guys don't know this yet, we just launched our podcast. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. It's called Fuller Tim Unfiltered. Uh, you guys are tearing it up. Right now, we're averaging like a 1,000 downloads a day, which is just insane. We just literally launched it five days ago. So if you guys keep up with me on my email list or on Instagram, which is a little bit uh, faster, a little bit more real time than YouTube because a little bit of a delay and lag time because we got to edit videos and all that mess. Uh, but if you guys have not checked it out, I'll leave the link in the description. Come check us out on Fullerton Unfiltered, completely unfiltered uh, business advice, interviews. We've had so many great people on, so much more to come. So anyway, super appreciate the support on the podcast. All right, so here, let's jump into this. Uh, let's talk about the major brands that you guys are going to be shopping for this spring. And I'm just going to give you guys my opinion. Things I like, a couple things I don't like. Um, here's the deal. If you guys are buying a zero-turn lawnmower, here's my blanket statement. Uh, in 2020, they're all pretty good. Like this isn't maybe buying lawnmowers 10, 20 years ago where there'd be a sore thumb or something that was going to blindside you because let's be honest, it's really hard to make junk in 2020 um, and not have it get called out, right? The internet's big. Uh, everybody gets to see the same things at the local trade shows. So you got to be making good equipment. Well, uh, let's let's just jump into this list. Uh, number one, starting with the X Mark series and the X Mark Zero Turn mowers. Now, of course, this is kind of um, a personal one for me because we've done millions of dollars with our X Mark mowers and our lawn and landscape business with X Mark, and that's why I'm so loyal to these guys, including Weingart's, my dealer that sells X Mark where we live. Um, but if you guys are looking for a amazing zero turn lawn mower, I think um, the gold standard. If I'm just talking out loud again, this is my opinion: is going to be the X Mark Laser Z. Uh, respectively, the X Mark Laser Z X, the X series. So there's a variety of different options. If I'm not mistaken, you get, probably got a, a 60 inch deck and a 72 inch deck. Um, I don't know if there's a 52 option or anything like that anymore, maybe a 48. Um, somebody can fact check me in the description down below or the comments. Um, but how I'm going to be comparing uh, a lot of the mowers to is to this X Mark Laser Z X. Now, this isn't just a big plug for the, the, these guys or anything in between. You know, we're partners with them on the channel. But arguably, if you get uh, access to the Xmark line, I think you can be uh, in really good shape uh, pretty much anywhere in the country. Now, as we go through this, you guys are going to know that one thing I'm really going to encourage you to do and suggest you do is that after you take all of my uh, 0.02, my two cents, right? Make sure you go to your local dealer and demo, 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 demo. So everything I say is going to be through a, um, this, this filter of make sure you go and demo it for at least a day, at least a couple hours, make sure it cuts your lawns, your grass type, your uh, acreage, if it's hills, if it's not hills, right? Make sure that the equipment that you're buying is really uh, personal and personable to your market, wherever you guys are at. Some mowers that are awesome in the uh, South, they they do not do a very good job up here in Michigan and vice versa. Some of the mowers that are maybe great in Michigan or the Midwest, they might not be the mower of choice down South. So uh, things I like about the X mark, number one, 
the ultra cut deck um it's really i mean it's uh stood the test of time you're talking about mowing wet grass or grass that's you know uh dried out after the you know 10 11 a.m kind of a uh you know time frame um this mower right here it, it's the cat's meow i love the ultra cut deck um the the seat is amazing the uh iso mounts whatever they call it um super comfortable uh the you know engine options you usually got kawasaki or kohler um, i'm a big kohler guy with the kohler efi um, but i know a lot of you guys run Kawasaki's as well. Um, but quite honestly, when you jump on an X Mark, everything's pretty much where you would expect it to be. Um, I, I like all the options with it. I've never really had too many huge issues with my X Mark. The only thing I did have was a seat switch error um, uh, issue a couple years ago. Uh, most of that's been rectified, but um, quite honestly, kind of the gold standard for zero turn lawnmowers. Everybody in the industry would kind of give them a nod. Um, so I'm going to give the X Mark Laser ZX uh, an A rating. So a couple other photos here as we go through. I think these are uh, just some great stock photos that I took off the internet. And one thing, if you guys are looking to get into an X Mark and maybe you don't have, you know, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, um, I get it. Trust me, I didn't start there. What I started with was an X Mark uh, Laser uh, ZS. So the F series. And below that is the E series. And don't quote me, they're eight or nine grand, but you can get a lot of mower for eight or nine grand if you go down that rabbit hole. So maybe start there. And another option is the uh, X Mark Radius. So X Mark Radius is kind of like that high end residential prosumer, maybe low end commercial, um, you know, maybe five, six, seven grand as a package and great zero turn mower to start with until you can get those big dog uh, mowers that are 10, 12, 14,000 bucks, right? Um, next up, Skag Turf Tiger 2. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm totally transparent here. I super enjoyed my Skag at Turf Tiger 2 demo. Uh, those guys are rich and, and the Skag team, they hooked me up with a demo. Uh, what was it about two years ago now on the YouTube channel? As you guys know, um, I'll leave a playlist at the end of this video where we kind of go through each and every mower that we had demos, like a debrief, uh, a mowing vlog, and then a review kind of at the end of our, whether it's two weeks, two months, you know, six months, um, where we kind of go into each unit. My, my goal was to have all this available on our YouTube channel in one summer. I didn't know it take two and a half years to do all this, but a lot of work behind the scenes with work with companies and distributors and all this other mess. So if you guys do appreciate this stuff, um, do me a big solid by leaving thumbs up on this video and all the other videos. Uh, it really does help me. It really does help the channel and the, the algorithm gods, right? Uh, but it really does help the channel grow. Um, but you know what? I wanted to demo this Skag Turf Tiger 2 because so many of you guys uh, all over the place uh, use it. And quite honestly, it lays, uh, lays and leaves amazing stripes. Um, I would put the, um, is it the Velocity Plus deck? I would put that deck, um, honestly, side by side to the X Mark Laser Z uh, Ultra Cut deck. Uh, I think that the uh, Skag Velocity Plus deck is is great with wet grass. Um, don't quote me on the the discharge opening. Somebody said it was like 18 inches or something like that. Um, I wouldn't doubt that. It, it literally doesn't clump. Now, I think the Ultra Cut deck in both grass, uh, wet grass and dry grass is going to leave the best stripes. Um, uh, the Skag Turf Tiger 2, quite honestly, it's so negligible, the difference of that, of that cut quality. So I'm going to give them a, a solid A. Uh, in my experience, with the Skag cut. Now, again, uh, long-term use and long-term wear and long-term performance, I can't weigh in on. Uh, our demo, we had it for about two or three weeks. I might've logged 20 to 30 hours on it. Um, but, you know, uh, don't quote me again. I'm not an engineer, but the the drive shaft or the the belt driven drive shaft, if you will, um, the, the torque, the cut, the the blade tip speed, incredible, uh, super comfortable seat. Um, some things I didn't like with the Skag was the uh, deck uh, lift assist. It's like a weird, uh, you know, rod here that you guys can see. Uh, not super comfortable. The uh, on the left hand side, I'm not sure if it was the parking brake or uh, something else that was like the deck lift lock or something like that. Uh, I just not, you know, some of the things that I had on the Skag, uh, Skag Turf Tiger Two, um, they just weren't like. It's almost like they ran out of time or money or thought, and they were just like, "Well, oh, that's going to be good enough. Let's get them out the door." Um, but the things that are important are uh, thoughtful. So. Oh, Overall, I'm going to give these guys like a solid A, A minus. Um, right here, one thing I'd say though, is on these seats, uh, these armrests, they need to be padded. If you're out doing the little T-Rex thing all day, um, we definitely need to have some pads for the elbows and the forearms because quite honestly, if you're on a mower eight hours a day, you know what I'm talking about. Hard plastic, uh, the rubbing, the, I don't want to say chafing, but the rubbing, not a big fan of that. Um, something that they might want to revisit. 
And you know what? By this time, they might already have something different on those mowers. Uh, so let me know. And by the way, as we go through this, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, I don't have every answer here. Um, I'd love to know what kind of mowers you guys are running. So leave me some comments down below. What are you guys running in 2020? You run an Xmark, Skag, Ferris, um, you know, Gravely. Leave me some comments too, because I'm always excited to see what you guys are working with uh, and where. So let me know what mower you're using and where in the comments down below. Um, the Skag Turf Tiger 2, uh, it's fast. It's super fast man i like i said i really thoroughly enjoyed my demo uh it had that 37 um i think it's the briggs and stratton uh, vanguard engine um it was a tank i mean you just hear that thing purring behind you and um plenty of torque plenty of power so some beautiful stripes um shout out to jake and those guys with the skag team great people there uh this looks like another photo i just grabbed some of these off the internet so you know hopefully we don't get in trouble right <laughs> so here's the deal um Another really good brand that we got to work with last year, um, and here's my marketing, uh, you know, story for Cub Cadet. I I didn't know Cub Cadet was making a commercial lineup. You know, apparently the 900 line had been out for about a year or two before I did my demo uh, last spring with Aaron. Shout out to Aaron, really good guy there. A lot of you guys know Aaron. He's been all across the country and in a lot of videos. Um, I didn't know that they had already been, you know, had that mower out there for about a year or two, which was a little <laughs> so shows what I know, Mister Mister, uh, you know, knows everything about YouTube and lawn care, right? Um, so I didn't know that that mower was out there. And then they came out with their stander, which was just, uh, I think a two by four to a lot of folks. Cause it, it just, it delivered, which is really, really impressive. Um, yeah, these people have created some videos with us guys and yeah, we've created some sponsored content, but honestly, all these thoughts are my own. Nobody's there's, there's nothing going on behind the scenes here. I just wanted to really just make one video, one resource for you guys to talk about each of these units. Um, things I like the, about the Cub Cadet, uh, deck, I think it's a, a great quality deck. I don't think it had any issues with stragglers or, uh, um, you know, you know, not leaving stripes. Um, I don't think it was the same category, uh, same tier as the Skag Turf Tiger Two or the Ultra Cut deck. Um, I think those guys are honestly kind of in a, a league of their own. Uh, but I had no qualms, no issues with uh, that Pro 960. In fact, uh, I'll leave a card here for the 960 drop off video and the 960 um, stripe video, the vlog that we did, because um, it held its own. Uh, the The seat was comfortable. Uh, everything was really thoughtful. Uh, as I skimmed through it, I'm just trying to remember if there's anything I didn't like. Um, overall, pretty solid mower. Um, the the right hand panel, uh, I, th I think it was everything was you know designed where it should be. And quite honestly, the parking brake on the left side, a little weird, but it wasn't too too weird uh, overall. Um, how's that for a technical review? Weird, but wasn't too weird at all. Aaron will love that one, right, Aaron? All right. So um, one thing is that some of you guys, uh, especially like municipalities, um, and some of you guys in general don't like the to T Rex it all day. You like a steering wheel. Totally get it. Uh, the 972 and maybe the 960. Somebody fact check me, um, but they do have a steering wheel option, which is pretty neat. Uh, let's keep it going. Oh, here's a really bad low res image of uh, as we go through, as you guys can see, of uh, our drop off. Uh, let's keep it going. Next one is the John Deere line. Um, a lot of you guys want to see green on the channel. Um, if anybody, you know, has a contact at John Deere, hey, tell them to call up, uh, have their people get in touch with my people, <laughs> which is code for my wife or me, because uh, we don't have any people. Um, but, you know, the John Deere uh, folks um, haven't really got to work with them too much behind the scenes. Um, but you know what? They make some great mowers. Um, there used to be a really uh, good John Deere dealer about 25 minutes down the road from me. Uh, but when they uh, shut down and that dealer went out of business or or closed down or sold off. I truly don't know. Um, not a lot of John Deere in my neck of the woods anymore. So it's mostly uh, X mark. Um, but I had some friends back in the day that they had the, you know, don't quote me the exact line. It was like the 930 or the 955. Um, it was a 12 or $13,000 uh, John Deere. Uh, There's a guy named Dave who's a great salesman for John Deere in the area. Shout out to Dave if he ever watches this video. Um, but he sold my buddies two units back in the day, a zero turn and a standard. And they they cut great. I mean, the mulch on demand uh, kit, um, the, what is it? The seven iron, you know, stamp deck. Um, just a solid, solid mower. Um, my joke back in the day was, you know, with my friends, uh, uh, Sean and Zach, I said, Hey, go with red, save some green. That was kind of like my little dig. Uh, but they got some great financing on these two mowers and they got a fleet option cause they bought two and they ended up going John Deere, but I've rode their mowers back in the day. Um, you know, no complaints, the little, uh, turn dial, I think for the deck height, uh, adjust, uh, overall super solid mowers. Now here's the deal again. 
demo and test in your area, your neck of the woods, so you guys can see how you like them. Um, a lot of these are all coming up with wheels now, and uh, you know, X Mark's got the track. This we'll be doing some videos uh, on those as we go in the spring. But a lot of you guys, you like your deers, and uh, super popular. Why not? John Deere's been around for a long while, and a uh, great brand, great company. So. Um, Let's continue on with Toro. I haven't used a lot of Toro. Um, there is a lot of difference that some of you guys think that Toro and Xmark are the same. Well, they're both owned by Toro. Well, Toro owns itself, obviously, uh, but Xmark's owned with them. But the the Turbo Force deck and the Ultra Cut deck are not the same deck. So a lot of folks think like they're made on the same assembly line and they just come down the same area. Um, not entirely true. So there's a lot of uh, technology that I'm sure that they share. There's a lot of differences though as well. Uh, so I can't really weigh in too much on the Turbo Force deck for the uh, for the Toro uh, zero turn line. However, a lot of the components that I see on the mower are the same components that I see on the Xmark. Maybe the seat, certain pedals, certain uh, adjustments. So overall, it's kind of like an Xmark, but you get the Turbo Force deck. If you guys have a Toro, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts about how you like the Toro Cut and the Toro uh, Turbo Force deck. So again, if you're going through all these, uh, you know, schedule a demo. Go to your local dealer. Find your regional guy, your your uh, your your territory manager, your territory rep, and uh, your dealer can hook you up with that. Do demos. I mean, that's what those guys. Those guys hope that their phone rings to give you guys a demo. That's their job is to help facilitate and grow the brand and help us with our businesses. So try to lock those people down if you can. Uh, we're actually going to be demoing a uh, Toro Titan um, this spring and summer uh, that uh, Toro is going to be dropping off. I think we get the 60 inch one. Might have like the the My Ride or whatever they call it suspension, which will be pretty cool. That is like a high end uh, prosumer homeowner uh, unit. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And we're going to be using it on some of our commercial clients to put it through the ringer, uh, probably my mom's site, and then maybe long term when Liz and I have some property. So, um, okay, so here's where we're going to transition on the conversation. I'm going to go through the rest of these pretty quick. Um, you've, you've seen the mowers that I have used. I'm doing the best I can behind the scenes to get all these other mowers and brands on the channel. Hey, if you're watching, you want a demo, have your people call my people, but uh, I'll refer you guys to Chant Singvasa. Uh, I probably butchered his last name, but a shout out to Chant. Chant runs Bobcat. A lot of you guys run Bobcat. Um, when we were down uh, at Ed Wright's facility, we were using a lot of uh, his standers, and he had a quick cat. I actually liked it. Um, the controls were a little jerky, but um, overall, pretty solid mower. I have not demoed the, what is it, the Predator Pro 7000, I think it's called. So let me know what you guys think about the Bobcat 7000. I think it's a sharp looking mower, sharp looking deck. Um, I, I wouldn't exactly say it's a budget option, you know, mower, but I think it's going to be a little cheaper. It's going to come under the X mark and the Skag at the price point. So let's say the, the Skag and the X marks are 12 to 14,000. You might be getting these for 10, 12, right? So that two or three grand can add up. Um, but overall, I think it's a really good option for you guys out there that are getting started in business. Um, another one. Hey, you know, by by this uh, time of the day, I'm hoping Johnny Moe has already watched my videos because Johnny Moe is the GOAT when it comes to reviews. I do not try to impress anybody with reviews. But if there's anybody who's going to fact check me, it's my boy, Johnny Moe. Well, Johnny Moe, love to hear your comment down below about the Ferris Zero Turns. This is the 3200. And then what do they have, Johnny? The 2300 or 2200. Uh, so they're zero turn mowers. I have not demoed these, but I am uh, always watching Johnny Moe's videos to see how he talks about the, the Ferris mowers. He loves them. He loves the uh, beefier hydros, the, the, the deck. Um, I think it's the ICD deck. Uh, so he loves his Ferris mowers. He's ran all of the mowers out there. So another great resource. If you guys are ever trying to learn all that, check out Johnny Moe. He's a, uh, a lawn care OG, right? So shout out to Johnny Moe. Um, but you know what? I want to demo a Ferris. I think they're pretty sharp. I want to put the suspension to the test and see if it actually helps with the front cast or the front yokes and see what that's like with uh, going up and down hills and undulations, as all the fancy lawn care people would say. So if you got a Ferris, let me know. And let's keep it going. Uh, again, these are mo the mowers that I haven't used. And I'm still trying to get demos for you guys to put on the channel. But again, I uh, just want to let you guys know that these all exist. The Outlaw uh, Rebel. And I think we got the Outlaw, another photo of the Outlaw Rebel. So oh, if you're a guy or a girl, you can run the lawnmower, as you guys can see. Because shout out to uh, Bad Boy. They're the ones that are putting all females on their lawnmowers. You know what? If you're a girl, you can cut grass. Okay. You can probably do it just as good as the guys. So rock on to them. Um, but hopefully we get a demo. I've seen uh, like some really good engine options on things. I think maybe the Briggs and Stratton, uh, maybe some Cowies, maybe some Kohlers. Uh, I think they have like maybe the Yamaha, like FX 1000 uh, engine, but 
Uh, we saw this just the other day at the MGIA video with uh, uh, Jonathan and Kyle, and uh, it was a, it was a it was a tank of a mower. In fact, these are a little bit more of a price point option. So, uh, great value package, but for 11, 12 grand tops, you can get one of these zeros uh, 60s, and these will last you you know a couple thousand hours on them, and you'll be good to go until you can maybe afford the other brands, the the more expensive zero turns, right? Let's keep it going. Um, here's some selfish ones that I want to try to get on the channel in the next 12, 18 months. Um, a lot of you guys uh, use Grasshopper. Uh, some of you guys don't even know who Grasshopper is or that Grasshopper exists. Um, quite honestly, I see a lot of old school Grasshopper around where we live. So I'm always curious to hear. Um, some of you guys have these mowers and they have four or 5,000 uh, hours on them, right? And you guys have been using them forever. Um, they're like a front mount or mid mount mower. Um, and quite honestly, you know, they have all the extra wheels on them. So the deck kind of floats a little bit more, sort of like the um, the Walker mowers. Uh, but any which way, shout out to the Grasshopper people. Got to meet them actually at GIE, and uh, they were super cool, super kind. Somebody actually recognized me from their uh, from their booth and brought me in, and we were just uh, chatted up. They uh, were watching YouTube, so really appreciate that support. Uh, Dixie Chopper, in fact. Dixie Chopper has been everywhere for a long time, like 20 or 30 years. It's maybe even longer, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I see a lot of Dixie still here where we live. Um, I've never ran them, um, but <laughs> there's so many guys, that I swear, they still run like a champ up here. And, and honestly, they like, they leave some of the best stripes. They always have like those really wide out kind of uh, tires that look like sand dune tires, if you will, with the scoops on them. Um, just a really weird kind of a tire, some of the old school ones. Obviously, the one that's here on the screen has a little bit more of like a Turf Master tire. Uh, but any which way, love to uh, check out the Dixie Chopper mowers. Let me know if you guys run those. We'll keep it going. Um, we don't have too much experience with them. So uh, another really interesting one that I wanted to talk about was Walker uh, and bagging. Like we don't bag here in, in where I live in Metro Detroit, Michigan. I wouldn't say we really bag that much in the Midwest. There's just no way you can keep up keep up with that much grass. Um, but apparently like you go Northeast, um, which is really cool learning all this from YouTube. And dude, everybody like has a walker in like the Northeast in certain parts of the country. Um, I did get to demo a few of them at GIE with the little handles between the legs. And, you know, we were hanging out, having fun with that. Uh, but I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts with using the walker mowers, especially if you're bagging, doing the whole deal. Um, that's just not something that we do here. It's not something you're going to see here. Uh, at most, what you're going to see here is us bagging with uh, a bagger system on a zero turner stand on uh, in the spring or fall for leaves, but we don't we don't bag you around like you guys do. Um, I I don't even know how you guys do that. That's that's absolutely crazy. You'd have to have a, a dump truck and a really large property or a dump to take all that grass to. Um, Hustler mowers, another great option out there. Uh, haven't used them too much personally, but I know uh, Dylan's with uh, Solo Cuts Landscaping. Another great resource if you guys want to keep up with him on the uh, gosh, it's like the Pro Z line or like the. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm butchering it. Super Z line, Super Z. Um, there's a couple different like great, uh, tiers for that mower. Um, I know Dylan has had two or three, uh, he's went through like the whole spectrum of them, which is pretty cool. And I think now he has a super Z, which is really cool. Um, but the hustler mowers again, not a lot of experience with them. So if you have one, leave me a comment. The first, uh, you know, like I said, first three or four mowers we've used a lot. The other ones, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Spartan mowers, okay? I know some of you guys are like early adopters and you guys have been running the Spartan mowers. I actually really liked running these. When we were at the GIE about two or three years ago now, I think it is, uh, we were out there demoing them, uh, doing zero turns and doing donuts and, you know, just tearing them up to be honest with you. But I love the seat. Um, everything was where you thought it would be. Um, super sharp mower. I like the gray. It's really cool. The the deck. Um, we haven't been able to cut with one, so I don't know the the cut quality. Um, but the seat, the the marine style seat, that was pretty legit. Um, so here's the deal: when you have these new companies and these new uh, new mower brands coming out, they're throwing like the latest and greatest, the best technology. Like they're trying to earn business, right? They're not like an old hat so, uh, where it's like, well, we this is what we've been doing for thirty years, right? Not that those companies aren't innovating, but when you have these kind of companies coming out of uh, the woodwork, they're doing their best to give you guys the best options, sometimes the best value. And uh, that marine style seat, I, it was super comfortable. Um, let's keep it going. Last one I got here. Uh, actually, before I, uh, you know, go all the whole way was the, um, the uh, Gravely Pro uh, 
turn 460. Um, I don't have a photo for it. I forgot to include it in the, the presentation as I was setting this all up. Um, Gravely Pro turn 460, a good zero turn mower um, in terms of build quality. I personally wasn't impressed with the cut quality up here in the, the Midwest, uh, up here in Michigan. Uh, we actually logged about 20 hours on it in like a week. My X Mark zero turn went down. We had a demo about two years ago when we were, uh, I think like an honorary Gravely ambassador. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but one showed up at our house and we were doing some stuff here with YouTube for them. Um, I, it was probably the, one of the best build quality, um, you know, lawnmowers that is out there. But to be honest with you, I was not impressed with the cut quality. Uh, we were double cutting. Uh, the first time we would cut, make a lane, there were stragglers for sure. As we would even come back, it didn't really clean up many of the stragglers. I just wasn't impressed. We we did the standard blades and the OE, uh, the aftermarket blades, high lift blades, adjust the baffles, the whole deal. Um, great dealer support with Hellebucks. Um, really good people over there on the east side of where I live, uh, about an hour away. Um, but it just didn't cut grass. And so um, one thing I'd always encourage you guys to do, like I said, going full circle here is don't just take my word for it. Don't just take my opinion. You know, again, um, I, I have a lot of, uh, you know, I've used the mowers. I know what works for me in my lawns, but the thing I tell you guys the most is make sure you demo and put them on your lawns, your customers, um, and, and, you know, make an educated purchase. Don't just buy them because your favorite YouTuber uses them or somebody's doing a sponsored video. Like that's fine. That's cool. Those, those have a role in a, in a, in a, in a, in a you know, try to make you guys make better, better Again, those have rule. Again, those are, again, don't just buy those mowers because your favorite YouTuber likes them or buys them or, you know, does some sponsored content. Make sure you're always making it personal to you so you know if those actually cut the greatest on your lawn. Um, for me personally, not to throw the Gravely people under the bus by any means, because um, again, if you go to Texas and Florida and other uh, parts of the country, uh, folks love them and they're some of the best mowers out there. Uh, but just for me personally, cutting uh, Kentucky bluegrass, uh, you know, honestly, unfortunately it was like a C minus at best on the cut quality. Um, but the build quality, pretty good job. I love the, uh, inflatable seat, the, the, all the yokes, the, uh, all the, the frame super solid. Uh, I think ours had the Yamaha engine or whatever, like the 1000 and, uh, it was like a 35 or something horsepower engine. It, it, it was fast. It was a really solidly built mower. Uh, last thing we got here is the, the mean green mowers. Um, and by the way, let me know if I'm leaving anybody out. I tried to do my best to go through all the zero turn brands. But the last one I wanted to try was the Mean Green Mowers. This is something that we might line up this summer. Um, this right here, it's funny. I was at MGIA just a, a couple days ago and the, the uh, MGIA uh, had uh, Weingarts and Weingarts had, uh, they're now a distributor and uh, you know selling the Mean Green lineup. And the, the rep for Mean Green, Pete, was there. Really great guy. Shout out to Pete if he happens to watch this. Um, they had probably the most conversation there at, at the whole show and the whole booth, other than, you know, Nick Carlson, Mulch Mate, right? And uh, Nick always draws a crowd. But everybody was talking about the Mean Green mowers. They had a couple uh, units out there. They had the stander out there. Um, or maybe it was a walk behind. No, it was a stander. And uh, people were talking about the, the Mean Green mowers. Now, some of these things are like 17, 30, 35,000 bucks. I mean, they get pretty ridiculous, pretty crazy. However, when you, it's just like when you buy a Tesla, right? Like I'm not going to go through this whole pitch, but you might be paying for that premium for the battery, the electricity, um, the, all, all this stuff up front to have a super minimized fuel cost later down the road. Now I'm not here to sell you guys or convince you guys on mean green. Um, in fact, you guys behind the scenes, I get so many reports and emails about all the Excel charts and, sh uh, all the stuff that you guys put together that are convincing me that it's a good buy. Well, if that's the case, full send, man, rock and roll. I know some guys are buying 10 and 12 of them. You get these tax credits. Um, you, some of you guys are able to market and sell that you're an all green business or maybe a quiet or option for, you know, universities or, um, different communities, uh, you know, retirement homes, so on and so forth. Right. And you're, you're marketing your business as a green option or a, a battery powered business. I think that's awesome. If you can run those numbers and get these credits and, and sell that way and charge a premium for that. Hey, rock and roll. Like where I live 40 minutes away is Ann Arbor, Michigan. A lot of greenies, a lot of, uh, you know, people that are, you know, in touch with all that. Uh, this would be a great sell down there where, where I live. I don't know if it would be a great seller um, where I'm at, but you know what? I do see a lot of guys having those conversations about adopting that into their fleet. Um, so any which way, love to hear your guys' thoughts on the Mean Green Mowers. So 
Everything being said, the first handful of them I've demoed, the last uh, two thirds uh, I have not. They all do make tall grass short. I don't think you can really go wrong with any of these mower options today. Um, I don't think anybody's making bad mowers or anything like that. Um, but again, I just wanted to just kind of share my thoughts. Uh, I, If I had the pick, uh, I would definitely say that the X Mark, um, it's not just because we're partnered with those guys or anything like that. Um, I've literally used the uh, X Mark Laser Z's for gosh, eight or nine, 10 years now. Uh, just a solid, solid mower. Um, Skag, same thing, really, really well. Great mower. The Cub 960, um, some of the great, but you know, best warranties and, and best build quality as well. Uh, uh, you know, my here's my marketing strategy for Cub Cadet. It's Cub Cadet, question mark, and Cub Cadet, period. Because like, Cub Cadet, who would have thought? And now we're like, yeah, Cub Cadet's actually a pretty viable band, uh, brand for the commercial outfit uh, and the commercial contractor. So any which way, have you guys used the first couple brands, uh, Xmark, Skag, Cub? Is that what you guys are using? Are you guys running something else like Ferris or Hustler? Uh, are you adopting the mean green mowers and the battery technology? What are you guys using right now? Guys, that's pretty much it from me. Let me know which mowers you guys are using down in the comment sections down below. And again, I'll try to leave some cards here and a playlist at the end of this video here if you guys want to check out some of the more rewards and the more demo series that we put together. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance. And by the way, let me know if you guys want to see a part two on the stand on mowers. All right, that's it, guys. We'll catch up with you on the next one.